So yeah, definitely check that one out too. That's a it's a great one. You have some really good picks. Thank you. Thank very you. appreciate very, that. Very, very um, impressive. Yeah, yeah. This look, this all looks awesome. Faith. Yeah. Yeah, the game that uh, the, the rotoscoping shit they do in that game is is just very kiss. Scary. Looks awesome. So now we're all happy. Let's bring it down a little bit. <laughs> Biggest <laughs> disappointments. Biggest disappointments of the last year and. I might have to go first yet again because this is something that I actually am very sad that I have to say. This is a game that I also have on my list, surprisingly, but it should very much have been better than it was, and that is Gotham Knights. Oh, yeah. okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, in playing the game, the story is actually very good. A couple nitpicks with how it ends because it's like, we all... We all said this is how it would have ended, and you know what? That's how it ended. But mm. it had so much potential, especially when you look at that first trailer we saw with the Mr. Freeze fight and the way like everything looked and it looked all nice. And that God, that looks so good. And then the product that we got is nowhere close to like to how cool that looked. That looked like I remember saying, like, I will be shocked if it's not in my top five of the year. And it barely even made the top ten. Tell you that right now, <laughs> just as a little hmm. spoiler for you. Um, the, the performance, I'm not gonna say anything new with that. The uh, the loading, I actually didn't have any too many bugs happen to me, luckily, but it's it's hmm. the same thing. The frames just were way too low. Clearly, the game was not designed well. Um, I will say, like things like the collectibles, actual stories, the boss fights, the way they actually did a lot of the core mechanics were done very well, but. It was nowhere close to what I thought the game would be. I thought it would be like this marriage of like co-op with the Arkham system with like blah, 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 blah. Like. All the it just good wasn't. It just, yeah, pretty much all the good things, pretty much an Arkham game, but it's co-op. And uh, you know what? I would have been fine with like a little dial back on like, oh, you know, we can't make it like super beautiful because there's got to be four people. And, you know, I would have been fine with all that. But it being 30 frames is laughable, for frankly, frankly honest. Yeah. Laugh not good. I mean, yeah, it's not good at all. for a combat centered game. Like, I don't understand how that was. Have I don't know how not... that passed past the cutting room floor. I, I was going to say, have they not updated it since? Uh, like, I, they I patched the, the game. game. They patched the game. Okay. But it is not anywhere close to 60. I think they actually had to help it make sure it was a locked 30 for some people because it was actually dipping Oof. sometimes to 25 well, when a lot of stuff was right, going when... on. When they were releasing the game, they they mentioned that it was not going to run in sixty, right? Like it was yeah. going to be a thirty FPS game, and yeah. yeah, man, that's a huge killer for a game that looks like shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, again, I would have excused it. You can't look like you can't look that bad and have terrible frame rate. You got to pick one. You you can look great, have good frame rate, or sorry, terrible frame rate, or you can look pretty bad but have a sixty one twenty mode. But you can't do both. I'm sorry. Agreed. Agreed. Oh. oh. And I, I'm done. I want to move on from God of Nights. That is the last time I'm going to be talking about that game. Please, Emmett. Or actually, you know what? Let's go to Brandon. Let's go to Brandon. What is oh. your biggest disappointment for this year? Um, I think my biggest disappointment this year was the Callisto Protocol. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Okay. I would love to hear. I love. I'm very excited now. Please don't. While I thought it was a an acceptable video game, and and to be fair, I have not beaten it all the way yet, so I I don't know the ending. Um, I where I am at at this point, I can't imagine it's going to pick up for me that much more. But if I can interrupt man, very quickly, you're not gonna be surprised by it. <laughs> you probably could guess. You could probably guess what the ending is. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. Um, mm -hmm. and, and especially as someone who's just a huge Dead Space fan, uh, especially Dead Space 1, maybe Dead Space 2. Dead Space 3 can die out in the cold, most likely. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, as someone coming from that and being a huge Jason Schofield fan, like, yeah. man, uh, a huge disappointment coming from Callista Protocol, in my opinion. Um, just kind of a bland setting. Um uh, the emphasis on melee combat, I thought, was strange coming from someone who made a game all about dismembering enemies. Um, mm -hmm. And yep. uh, while the technical capabilities are very pretty, um, I mean, there's it, it's like watching a, a mediocre movie. You know, it, it just mm -hmm. it didn't grab me. It didn't 
make me fucking hype for you know some more Callisto Protocol. I imagine that the second in this series will end up being something worthwhile. Um, I, I think Striking Distance is really gonna drill down on what made Callisto Protocol unique and and hopefully do something interesting from that. But um, I mean, before this, I was I was like Callisto Protocol over Dead Space remake any day. And Me now too. I'm like Callisto Protocol can you know be left in 2022, and I'm I'm hyped for new Dead Space at this point. So yeah, um, so yeah. I think I think that's actually a perfect way of putting it. Where when I finished the game, I sat there for a little bit and just went, I'm really excited for Dead Space. <laughs> like like I, I I'm excited <laughs> for the palate cleanser because no, I think I'm actually a tiny bit higher on it than you are, but I, I don't think Fair too enough. too much. The actual melee combat was. Incredibly frustrating. I don't know if I just am not good at it. If I, but I feel like they happen too fast for me to really react in time. So yeah, I actually uh, found myself we're talking about the dodging here, right? Like yes. the, the dodging. Sorry, mechanic. Yes, oh the my dodging. god, it's yeah. terrible. It, it's yeah. not good. Um, it, yeah, it's I, so I, arbitrary. It doesn't f like when you dodge in a video game. Normally, you hit a button and you get yeah. a reaction from that. You know, and and in Callisto Protocol, you're just expected to move the stick to a certain place and you know dodge and like you don't get any feeling like there's no mm -hmm. there's no button press to um there's no like know, good feedback to it exactly yeah yeah there's mm -hmm. not like uh i don't i don't know yeah feedback there's not a good telling me what i'm doing right sort of mm -hmm. vibe i don't know that that was when a big I, one for me is the dodging just felt like a mess so i actually died a lot in the beginning of the game because you actually have to pretty much exclusively dodge in melee until you exactly. get a weapon or a gun. And I actually think the game gets very good, but it's only good because you don't have to use the dodge mechanic anymore. Um, oh, I can yeah, now shoot stuff or sure I can finally. telekinesis. It's even, it's even this weird, like, um, like you're trying, when they give you the gun, you find it opens up and you're allowed to, you know, blow things to bits. And before that, you feel like you don't have anything, like you're you're yeah. surviving, you know. And I like the element of survival. I like feeling like I'm downtrodden, like I don't have enough to take on these guys. But I also want you to give me a little bit, you know. Um, yeah. And and I feel like there wasn't a good mix of that. It didn't feel very survival horror -y, even though they were trying to make a survival horror game. I will say uh, also to add to know, I feel like um, looking at a game like Dark Souls is a reason why is a great mirror to this. Why does it feel good to beat a boss, but not feel good when I kill something in Callisto? It's because Callisto, when I die, I don't feel like it's my fault. I feel like it's the game's fault because I couldn't read the mechanic correctly. Dead Space or Dead, uh, sorry, Dark Souls. When I beat something, it's me feeling triumphant because I learned it or I figured something out or I used some ability. And in Callisto, I just I feel like the game killed me and not, oh, I lost because I didn't do X right. It's just like, oh, this weird mechanic that I don't feel like is being very good because half the time yeah. I don't know when I dodge stuff when I do, because as far as I understand, I go the pretty much the opposite way where the thing's going to hit me. I feel like I do that almost every time, but I still get hit. So it's like, all right, am I doing something wrong? Is the game or and after a while, it just doesn't feel rewarding if it happens or not. It's just not a good input mechanic. Like you're, you know, like, like it's, it's bad game design. If I'm yeah. being honest, it's just, it's just bad game oh, design. Those shield. No, I'm kidding. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll it next time around. Don't if there was, a, if if there is a way you could parry. So, for instance, the guard mechanic is yes. you hold back when they hit you. Why they didn't put a parry mechanic there? I don't know. You just hold just back at the very right time, and then just boop, and like you're able to do it perfectly, like. That would have been good. Enough. I, mean, I think just translating that to a separate button would be because uh, playing video games is all about doing something and getting a reward for it. You know, mm. so it's like it's it, it's bad game design if I'm just trying to move out of the way of somebody's attack. And that is, you know, giving me a separate input or something like it's not defined enough. I, mm. I, I, maybe that's the problem. I, I, I guess I can't put my my finger on it. But anyway. And it. Your biggest disappointment um, of the year. Let me tell you what. You want to talk about space aliens. You want to oh, talk yeah. about fucking... What was the game you talked about, Elijah? <laughs> Gotham Knights. <laughs> you want to talk about Batman that are dead. This game <laughs> has all dead. that and more. 
No, nah, it doesn't have any of that. Uh, it's this one that I spent way too much money on to get this art book. Yeah, I oh, knew it. God. I oh, knew yeah, it. That was Day a disappointment. Oh right. my god, yeah. I was so sad. Uh, I was I, I was so sad for Emmett because because mm, uh, I remember I remember there was a video that we did together, and I was like, God, Saints Row just doesn't look good. And, and you were like, What? What about it doesn't look good? And I was just like, I don't know everything. <laughs> But then, like, you made good points. I was like, actually, you know what? I'm high on the game again. So thank you. Yeah. You, you got me hyped, and then it got me disappointed again. I appreciate it. And then that. just to burn it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just... uh, well, here's the thing about Saints Row, y'all. I, for folks who don't know, I love Saints Row. I played two. I played three. I played four. I platinumed four. I uh, played God Out of Hell. Uh, Saints Row 4, one of my favorite games of all time. It's, like, top 10. Like, literally, I think it's number 10. Like, right behind near automata <laughs> like Ooh, that's wow. the level that's awesome. fuck. okay that's awesome okay. yeah so All like right. i love fucking saints row 4 um and i love the franchise of course I, I was literally trying to play through the whole franchise leading up to this one and you know life got in the way but i got pretty far into the first saints row and then i would have played every game at that point the problem with saints row this new reboot is they they want to be new. They want to be modern. They want to be like their contemporaries. Yep. And in trying to be like their contemporaries, you can't make the same meal that the people who have been making this meal for 20 years. <laughs> you can't make it to the same degree that they make it. So instead of doing what Saints Row knows to do, instead of going for the more over-the-top, more extreme stuff, like Saints Row has always been, when Grand Theft Auto goes realistic, we will go over the top originally that was just let's go hardcore into the gangster influence the gangster lifestyle and let's have all these wacky colorful characters and let's make it kind of like scary movie but if it was about gangster movies let's make it basically don't be a menace while drinking your juice in the hood the game <laughs> if you ever heard of that movie <laughs> yeah that's um, a great way to explain it yeah totally <laughs> yeah so that's that's what saints row one and two were but then two got just a little bit more serious people are like oh that's an interesting way to go then by the time three came around, it's full on scary movie. It's full look on. at all these references. Look at all these first cliches. Five minutes of the all, game. Wait, is it, is it that? No, it might be the bank heist is the first five minutes of the game in three. Sorry, uh, so the fourth one is in the first you... ten minutes in the fourth one. Yeah, and then it's like yeah. cure cancer, assault, or hunger. Like it's the exactly. one of the best prompts in any video game. It's hilarious. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Saints Row Four is just so it's so much all the time that you can't help but be endeared by it. Um, yeah absolutely this new saints row is they are intentionally not going that hard where there is still humor there's still comedy but this is more of a contemporary i don't even want to call it a drama because it's not really dramatic but they are trying to have characters that you care about there are some moments that i thought were pretty cool in saints row like there's one thing where there, there's one character in the game who's really in the car she's like the mechanic of the group yep. and some car of hers gets stolen it was her project car that was given to her by like some relatives so she's really emotional about it and there's like a really emotional scene that happens with that and that's cool like that's a great scene that i'm sure i'm sure they're really proud for pulling that off and they had genuine emotions there i don't come to saints row for that and when you're portraying this type if i want emotions in games Naughty Dog's been doing that with 42 times the budget for decades. Rockstar's been doing that in, with for Red sure. Dead for, you know, decades. If I want that type of gameplay experience, and plus, if you're going to give me emotion, there are indies out here that are fucking killing it with some really hardcore emotional stuff that doesn't have the zany over-the-top stuff that Saints Row has to cancel it out. They didn't lean far enough in either direction. They didn't say, fuck all the dildo bats, we're going strictly serious, and they also didn't say... We're going to keep leaning into this insanity and just go further and further into the into lunacy. They didn't say any of that. And so instead, what you get is a game where it is still silly. You can still put on your crazy outfits. And I actually like a lot of customization where they have like a lot of prosthetics now. Yep. Uh, they have a very gender neutral way of presenting your character. So you can put any types of add ons and clothing mm -hmm. and body parts. And it doesn't really matter. They're like, go ahead, have fun. I love that about the game. But you have all that stuff, and you want to say, okay, we want to be like every other third-person shooter. So you can't run around at supersonic speeds anymore. You 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 can't do all these crazy gameplay things that you could do in 3 and 4. But you can still drive around, but it's very basic driving because every driving's all the same, shooting's all the same. Oh, and but we have to have like some like Doom 2016 type thing where you get your health back by doing an extra move on enemies, and it's like... You could have just made them drop health packs like Saints Row 3 and 4. Like, it would have been fine. Like, they they take a lot of steps towards realism or towards, like, contemporary gameplay. And instead of it making it 
stand toe to toe with all all of the other games now, it just blends in. It doesn't stick out as much anymore. So I haven't even beaten Saints Row. I, I played a good maybe 10 hours and I was like, you know what? I didn't say I give up. I just said, I'm going to come back to this. And I haven't come back to it in the last six or so months that it's been out. And I feel like that speaks volumes. And it sucks because I was so excited for this game. I still think I'm going to go back to it at some point, but I have no desire to play this game. It's just another one. And Saints Row is not a series that should have just, it's not just, oh, it's just another game like that. It's not just another open world crying game. It was distinctive until they took out much to the personality. So yeah, it's it's not because they went woke because I know that was the narrative before oh, <laughs> before God, the game came that, out. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, so many geez. people. Because as soon as you turn the boss into a black woman, it's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, oh my God! Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. If if you think the problem was being woke, you, you just don't know how to use your thoughts. There's, exactly. It's not it went woke. I want to tell a story really quick. Um, mm -hmm. I actually tried this game as well. I uh, did the opening and I was like, okay, this is kind of generic. I hope it gets better. I started walking around with a gun. You look terrible. I don't know who animated you holding a gun and walking around. This is not PS3 anymore. You you can make it look a little bit better than that. You're literally like stationary and then walking around with it. I'm like, oh my God, this oh, is yeah. terrible. Terrible. But Fair. get through all that. I'm like, okay, I kind of like where we're starting off. So let's see where we're going. And you go and you do, this is when I turn the game up. You go and, um, you go to your hideout for the first time. First off, it opens with a hilarious scene. You walk, the, your character walks in. He goes, hey, guys. It's almost like a sitcom. He's like, hey, what's up, everyone? He takes his gun out of his pocket and then hangs it on a on a hat rack. It's, and it oh, looks fucking, it's fucking hilarious. I was like, that is hilarious. And then they immediately go into just not hilarious dialogue. Just very plain. There's a guy with their shirt off and they're like, why don't you put your shirt on? And it's almost like a sitcom where they're waiting for like, like a, like a back, uh, a laugh, uh, laugh track. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, you don't like it. He's like, pose. I'm like, what game did we, I, I feel like I teleported into another game with this, See, with this dialogue. What I'll, what I'll say to that. Cause yes, some of the dialogue is a little iffy, but I like a lot of the characters because the characters, once you play long enough, you see like the deeper side of them. Mm -hmm. Like the girl I was talking about who has the emotional connection to the car, she's usually like the hothead. She's the one who's like, oh, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. But then you're like, oh, wait, she actually has things she cares about. And so there's deeper layers. I just don't care to see what those deep layers are because number one, that story isn't engaging enough for me to want to push through bland gameplay. And number two, it's bland gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> it's just bland. It's just it not special matter. anymore. It doesn't so. matter how good the story is because like it's a game at the end of the day so like we got to play the yeah. game so it's like it seems a pretty like... good cw show and that's yeah. not what saints row is a pretty yeah. good cw yeah, show pretty it's, good a, CW it's show. a solid headline yeah, that is saints row review. that is I, like that. I, I wish i saw mm -hmm. that on a on a ign review or something like <laughs> like it saints row it's a pretty good cw show like and that is kind of how it's it's not satiric really anymore it kind of is but then it's not I love the commercial that they open the game with. I'm laughing hysterically with how yeah. they made the commercial. I'm like, I love this. And then Moment the rest brilliance. of the game starts happening. And I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. I, it, it's yeah. almost more frustrating because I was like, some of this is incredible writing. Who, not many games know how to use like the character model to like in uh, to inject comedy. Like that person mm -hmm. putting the gun on the gun rack. That's hilarious. No one says he did that. No one yeah. mentions Physical it. Physical humor in a game is wild. Yeah, that's not that does not that has not happened in any game that I've ever played. Almost mm -hmm. any ever. Maybe South Park. Yeah, is is the it, one game I could. Psychonauts I could maybe. Is Psychonauts is a good one. Of, Psychonauts yeah. two yeah. was very good with the physical humor. Um, but that that was like that is brilliant. I hope that's more of this. And then you just never get it again, yeah. really. It, it feels like, like it got sanded down in a focus group. It really it feels had like to that. Be. It had to be. I there has to be that. some reason. There, or there were, and again, I'm not saying this is what happened, but maybe they were afraid of some jokes or something. Maybe they oh. didn't want to say certain things. I don't know. I'll, I'll say because some people were thinking, oh, Saints Row coming back in 2022. How's that going to be? Because the humor has changed and all that. And you it's like, you think jokes. about the old Saints Row, a lot of those, it's not like they were being 
risque often they're being a little immature and crass with like you know your dildo bats and whatnot but for the most part like the actual writing the actual like mission design and stuff a lot of those jokes were just silly and fun it wasn't necessarily punching at somebody it wasn't punching up or down it was just being stupid yeah they were were never pulling they're never pulling a a south park like a trey parker you know sort of thing like like it was always pretty middling you know this crass yeah. humor for the most part but the humor like, didn't was, have bite it was just here's some silliness it, it was just <laughs> yeah. it was you know high octane all the time in your mm-hmm. face sort of stuff you know um yeah yeah okay. and i i haven't played much of the new saints row but i, I agree yeah from what i've from what i've ingested of of, of the culture of saints row <laughs> this this isn't it for sure it isn't yeah. it isn't at first i thought this game was going to be bl- brilliant and like try and have some sort of meta common consumer angle and ch- joke about like corporations becoming like almost paramilitary groups or something i was i got really excited from starting the game and then i was like nope this game isn't smart enough like like this game yeah. is not anywhere close to that it's, it's just another it's, shooter it's just another so shooter more. every now and then they they have brilliant dialogue in the beginning and then i haven't heard anything about the rest of the game so i was like i ain't playing this yeah. very whatever no game. one got past the first like no hour no and i dare you not a single uh, person did probably i wouldn't be surprised if many people got past the free character uh, maker demo <laughs> that they really that is true fair. that is true no, that, that is true. a solid demo that character creator did get a lot i agree more excited. Uh, that, was a, yeah. that, was, that was a solid demo that they i thought the character creator aspect was, cool was, was a neat way to introduce people to the, to the world it, but um, no. Black hairstyles, they nailed all of them. I saw oh, them wow. totally, totally. Like, I remember oh, seeing that's... people were very excited that not just cornrows was in it. I was like, Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good accomplishment. That's good. Literally literally it. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay, that's perfect. Yeah, because because I remember seeing that. I'm like, Yep, because that's all black hairstyles were in the last 10 years. It's, it's just cornrows or an afro. Afro, totally, sometimes you get a totally, dread, yeah, sometimes you get dreads. But you know mm-hmm. they they want to get crazy and put a they're, they're getting crazy <laughs> in there. Yeah, they're they're getting Thank a little you. a little spicy. All right. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. So yeah, that's that's why the game's disappointing because you can see moments of brilliance. You can see that they cared. They just went in a direction that just like wasn't quite it, and it it just falls short of the ledge. It doesn't miss entirely. It just falls short to where you're still falling off anyway. So it is what it is. Totally, totally. Yeah, Saints Row. <laughs> Let's I begin. Like Saints, though. Saints now. Like like, Saints. Good, good way. Good way. Just the it. row, actually. Just, just row. Let's begin Saints. with <laughs> our actual top ten. But of course, it's not a good top ten unless you have honorable mentions, which I always do way too many. But I've, I've, oh, I've been talking. Lie. I've been talking quite a bit. So I want to actually throw it to Emmett. Then we're going to go to Brandon for honorable mentions, and then I'm going to end it. So please, Emmett, tell me what are on your honorable mentions. Now I did not give anyone a limit. I did not mention anything like, mm. oh, it had to be this many, this many. So talk about as little or as many as you want. 